Hey guys, so today I'm actually reviewing an anime box set for you. This will not only be uploaded on my channel, but also another channel that I'm a part of that reviews a bunch of other anime and Japanese things, not just manga and anime, but Japanese music too. So today I am reviewing Dot Hack Legend of the Twilight bracelet box set that I have. I have a, obviously, it's kind of small because it is only 12 episodes long. Yes, 12 episodes long on three DVDs. Now this is one of my all-time favorite animes, definitely in the short range of anime. The shorter size of anime because it's only 12 episodes. So first off, um, when I was younger, for any of you though, those of you who remember when anime used to be on Friday and Saturday nights on Cartoon Network, Dot Hack Sign and this used to be on, I think, Friday. Um, this wasn't the same time though, it was a couple of years later when this was put into English when it was on Friday. I was actually a really big fan of the Dot Hack series. I still have to finish re-watching Dot Hack Sign and the other ones, but this is definitely one of my favorites. I've had this for a very, very long time. So what I really like about this series is because this, as you see, all the characters are very cute. It's light and a lot brighter compared to Dot Hack Sign. When you look at Dot Hack Sign, it is more serious. It is more, uh, the scenery in general, like the colors, is it's darker. And in overall, the whole series is a darker series and more serious than this compared to this. So if you have never watched any of the Dot Hack series because you don't like the way it is or you are more into happier series with a twist to it, I would definitely recommend this Dot Hack series first before trying to watch the other ones if you're not into more serious animes. So pretty much this whole anime starts off with a brother and sister that their parents got divorced and they care about each other very much and want to spend time with each other but they can't because they live kind of far apart and go to different schools. So Reina, the girl's sister, decides to uh, buy this online game called The World for her and her brother to play so they can spend time together when they can't do it in person. And they end up winning a contest to get the characters as Black Rose and Kite. So after they get that, things start changing in the world. A whole bunch of weird stuff happens and they meet characters throughout the whole thing and things kind of go haywire with the game. Um, so that's kind of the whole thing of the series. Definitely out of this whole thing, my favorite is Oka because she's strong and she's a werewolf and she's just like, bam, up in your face. <laughs> uh, I really like the fact that they changed um, Kite and Black Rose and made them smaller looking. Instead of more adult, they look more childlike. Another great thing that I absolutely love about this anime that sticks out and is a thing that will make you remember most animes is the opening sequence and opening song. The opening sequence and song is very bright and happy, like I said before, like the show itself. The one thing I didn't like about the show um, is the overall ending of the entire show. I felt like they left out a lot of details in the whole ending. So pretty much the whole point that they try to get across, the whole learning a lesson um, of certain things that sometimes animes put in there is in this show and they kind of make it just a general, hey, here it is, this is the main point. And that's what the ending is, kind of even though they left out a lot of details of what happens and then they do a huge, like a tiny time jump uh, to another point and end it with a happier note than what it is earlier. Another big rule with me is after the credits, you always watch the credits and wait for after the credits of every anime, especially if you know if it's the last ending because there's always a bonus thing, unless it's like on demand or sometimes on Adult Swim they may cut it. So after the credits roll on episode 12, you're gonna wanna fast forward through that and then get to the point where there's the extra kind of like bonus scene, I guess you could call it. It also has a really cute setup screen, so when you go to the setup screen, it will have a really nice song playing that's really like upbeat 
and it has these little um, these little shapes. And I'm pretty sure they're like twirling or something that you can select for different things, like to play and certain scene selections. So definitely um, go watch this series and Hopefully I will have more reviews out for you guys soon, so we'll see you guys later. Bye!